Bob, like I think Pete is thinking like, I think he already said like, oh look, there's a train, let's get on. <laughs> okay. But he just speeds past and then, and then Bob tells him, uh, Pete, that's a cargo train. Okay. Let's keep reading. Pete, Pete's train has arrived. All aboard, calls the conductor. Pete's mom finds three seats. I can't wait to see Grandma, says Bob. I can't, I can't wait to explore the train, says Pete. And the conductor, the conduct, the conductor comes and co the conductor comes to collect the ticket. Pete hands over his. I love trains, says Pete. I'll show you around, says, says the conductor. Wait, why does he have a conductor hat on his head? Because, why not? Uh, I'm talking about Pete. Because the conductor gave him one. Okay. Pete follows the conductor from car to car as the floor and rumbles under his feet. Wow, Pete says when they get to the, the caboose, we're going over a bridge. <laughs> Wait, page 79? Snack bar. Pete sees his, his mom and Bob. They are at the snack bar. I I got this for you, says Bob. Wait, you got two apples. One for him and one for him. What I mean is one for Pete and one for Bob. Yes, what a good brother Bob is. Like I meant to say... One for him and one for him. Yes. Like this is Bob and this is Pete. Yes. Pete follows the conductor. He goes into the front of the train. Come in, says the engineer. He's another dog like arf, 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 arf. <laughs> Wow, Pete says. The engineer shows him the engine. Where's the engine? Um, the engine is just the front car on the train. Oh, so all the other cars, all the other car wheels aren't um, moving in late unless the wheels in the front are? Yep. That's how trains work. But, guess what? What? Would it have to go so fast to pull all of them? It doesn't have to go fast, it just has to be strong. Well, I think that would be pretty tough for just one train car. Sometimes there's more than one engine. Depends on how big the train is. Oh wait, I've seen another train in the back of all the trains. And it looks like the front of the train. So maybe the wheels at the back 
of the train in the very back were, were, were rolling the same way that the front was. That's some good noticing, buddy. Let's finish reading the book. While Pete says, the engineer shows him the engine. The engineer shows Pete the train's brakes. There is a tunnel up ahead. Which one said that? As they go through the tunnel, Pete gets to honk the horn. Toot, toot. Like, oh, I tooted. Oh, I tooted again. <laughs> Everything is light again. Thanks for showing me around. Oh, wait. Are they in a cloud? <laughs> oh, no. They're lost. Oh, no. Page 88. Yeah. Almost done. On his way back to his seat, Pete sh stops and, and makes new friends. They live in different, different towns and they are getting at a different at different stops. Pete plays games. A little kid wears his hat. Maybe he's exploring too. Yeah. Wait, why are they both wearing the same hat? I, I don't know. Okay. Pete sings this song. What a groovy ride. Okay. Mm -hmm. I. I hate it when he says that, but the rest of the things other than just groovy, I like. Like, I like everything he says except groovy. Okay. We get off at the next stop, says Pete's mom. Toot toot, Pete looks out the window and he, and sees Grandma! Wait, is that my cat, Grandma? <laughs> Pete is the first one off the train. Wait, is his suitcase gonna roll right in front of the train lane? And then... I don't know. Two more pages. Pete's Grandma gives him a... Wait, hold on. Pete is... Okay. Pete's grandma gives him a big hug. It feels good. He loves riding the train, but he loves his grandma even more. Same thing with me. <laughs> good job reading, buddy. Maybe that actually happened before I was born. Me. Good job reading, buddy. Eh! <laughs>